of course, dinosaurs are such high-profile fossils that the first misconception, I suppose, is that many people think that any time you say the word fossil, people think dinosaur. So, for example, um, in, in the newly created Tule Springs Fossil Bed National Monument at the, south, at the northern edge of, of Las Vegas, um, we have spectacular fossils, no, no dinosaurs at all. It's, it's way too young for dinosaurs. We have mammoths and ground sloths and horses and camels and bison and so on. So people, people I think, forget sometimes or they haven't been exposed to the idea that dinosaurs lived for a, a long time, over 100 million years, um, but that that time ended 65 million years ago, and there are lots of, of fossilized animals that have turned up in the fossil record since the dinosaurs became extinct. And also, of course, not all dinosaurs are huge. The dinosaurs that we find represented by the tracks in southern Nevada, for example, the Growlator tracks, were made by an animal that was only about three feet high at the hip. So these dinosaurs were long, about 10 feet long, but fairly low. So if, if one walked right through here today, it would certainly catch our attention, but it wouldn't be a huge T-Rex-sized dinosaur. Dinosaurs were an extremely diverse group of animals, including large ones and small ones and herbivores and carnivores and so on. Extremely interesting group of animals um, that lived for a very distinct interval of geologic time and then they became extinct, except for the flying ones, of course. It's now accepted within the scientific community that birds are actually feathered dinosaurs. So we still have dinosaurs with us today. So we talk about non-avian dinosaurs being the ones that became extinct 65 million years ago.